Hi all, very good morning. Today our main topic is how to test file upload scenarios in JMeter tool. Okay, this is the topic guys. It's a very small topic, but it's most of the time it's very useful whenever you do the uploading scenarios, files or scenarios, anything. The type of situation is very useful. That is why I'm creating this video. Okay. First one, you need to step one. First of all, you need to create a test plan and the thread group and you can add the HTTP request. This is the first step. And second step, add values in HTTP request sampler. Step three, add file upload details. Okay, what are the file upload details you required, right? You can add it that one. Fourth one, add a listeners, view results tree and view result table. Okay, so commonly you can add this one. Finally, you need to run and validate. Okay, I have taken one dummy application. This is um, w, W3 schools. Okay, it's a worldwide, it's a freely available application. And the second one is the MIME types formats checking purpose. And there's the another site. Okay, freeformatter.com. Okay, now you need to proceed that one. How we need to do this one. It's a very simple guys. Okay. Okay. Just a minute. Okay. First of all, you need to add the uh, under test plan, right? You can add the thread group. Thread group uh, under th under thread group can add the HTTP request sampler. And uh, you can add listeners, just uh, view results tree, view result table also. Okay, view results table. Once you can add it, just you can save this one something name. Okay, this is the file upload one. Okay, I will give and save them. Okay, now what you need to add it, right? You can go to the application. It's very important. This is the dummy application. Okay, you can see. Show file selector fields. Show a file select field which allow only one file. To be chosen okay it's a very small application right you need to follow some conditions okay select a file choose file no file chosen and submit show your file select field which allow multiple files okay select file choose file no file chosen and submit right this is single file you need to upload this is multi and you, and you can see guys back end what are the code will be written this is the html related right you can see html also what is the HTML body? What are the hash tags we'll be using? Okay, H1 means it's a header tags. H3, it's a irq purpose only numbers will be given. H means it's a header related. This is form of action. It's a page. Okay, PHP page related. You can see this is the uh, my file select a file. This is the select a file. After, you can see this is the main um choose file okay choose file right you can my file will be chosen and submit button and this is the header action item select files this is the select files okay and choose file right you can see this is the my file file multiple level this is the main one after submit after body and uh, html tags will be closed now how you need to which one you you need you need the file this is the file okay whenever you click the choose a file right you need to upload some files for single file for our testing purpose example I am uploading this is the file okay you can see uh, a name I will provide it j1 dot jpg just click on submit okay submitted form data your input was received 
as my file you can see the name what the name will be coming this is very important my file equal to j1.jpg the server has processed your input and rated this answer this tutorial was not reach you how servers are processing input okay processing input explain page page okay this is common this is dummy application right but where processing you can see submitted a form data your input was received means it successfully submitted okay our job is done okay now what you need to do right you need only the specific file only you need okay the choose file only you required okay now what i need to require i need choose file okay choose file only i need to the element i required okay you can take uh, this is the element guys uh, this line only mainly you can see id okay id equal to my file okay you can directly you can take the my file my file only choose a file single file you need to submit the file that way also you need to example whenever you upload the manually in files it successfully submitted okay the same way you need to use the the element id my file for port level otherwise what you need to do just click on to the choose file right click go to inspect uh, most of the time you can use to the google chrome you can easily you can identify okay you can see whenever in uh, in developer tools it automatically will showing in elements input type file id is equal to my file name is equal to my file this way you can easily uh, you can identify to the the choose file location of element or x path there are so many names will be called okay this is the element otherwise x path just you can copy this one oh sorry copy and copy element okay you can open to the another notepad okay you can paste and you can save this one okay it's very important okay once you can done write this work just you can close it it's not required okay it's a file is saved now go to, okay now go to jmeter in jmeter now what you need to do right you need a file path location this is the file right okay this is very simple one and okay okay you can copy this one first of all you can paste it okay this is a full file path right this is the protocol https you can add it and just remove to the, the slashes and you can copy this entire file path given to the path place and uh, important format guys this one will done right now you uploading okay not for get method you can give to the post method post method only uploading get method is downloading okay you can select to the post method after you are doing the file upload concept that reason you can check mark to the use multi part slash form data this is the file upload method this is also very important you can check mark this one use multi part form data after directly click on file upload click on file add uh, you can see guys where is my files available right uh, this is the file i am currently uploading okay j1 jpg only okay once you can add right just click on browse uh, you can go to my desktop go to youtube youtube one yeah this is the jpg file okay you can see j1 j1 dot jpg that is the file you can open it okay now you provided the file path okay j1 dot jpg okay 
parameter name. What is the parameter name means you already inspected and take the file uh, xpath or element name you already taken right. This is the parameter name guys you can just you can copy it. Double click and give and then. And MIME type okay. MIME type means the dot jpg dot jpg file what type of format will be considered okay that is also second uh, available second format of url you can see you can copy this one you can open the another site okay you can test it this one okay it's a very too much lengthy site okay just a control f okay you can type to the jpg you can easily can find out okay now you can see dot jpeg comma dot jpg this is the uh, currently our uploading the file right the file format is jpg image you can call it as image slash jpg okay you can copy this one image slash jpg okay you can provide okay now you can save it guys now everything you've done okay you can see what i will add it right first the this is the test plan thread group single user only just HTTP request I provide the protocol server name and path method post you need to uploading and activate it to the check mark to the use sorry use multi path form data and file upload you can provide it to the the dot jpg file path I will provide it parameter name I am given MIME type also will give it now go to view result still view result table what you need to do right just you can save and just click on run Yeah, you can see it done. Okay, now it's successful, right? You can see response code 200 success and a request whatever format you can see. Name my file, file name is j1.jpg. Okay, you are sending this file and this is the full response sovereign will be provided and response headers also will be there. Okay. Uh, multiple times is not able to execute it guys this is a dummy site right after a problem will be created and w3schools.com so many people are using okay there are so many tutorials uh, programming scripting database related so many things available it's open source that is then you know no need to run to the multiple times but whenever you face the file upload scenarios right it, this is the format also this is the way of method also you can use easily you can complete your task okay just for reference purpose when i am creating this video okay yeah that's all guys this video will done okay under how much time will be taken the details also very clearly will provide it okay yeah that's all guys this uh today task is completed i am already run and validated also it successfully it's working no issue okay you have any doubts or questions anything this video point of view just please comment me i will provide my best yeah that's all guys this video maybe you like this video please subscribe my channel i will provide more videos and see. thank you guys i will come to my next video bye